Monday from New York City. I'm Nadia. This is The Rundown, where I like to interview people I admire on the run. I'm going to go and meet up with Nick Youngquist. He is a former rugby player for Australia. He is a model. He is an enthusiastic runner and a supporter of Team for Kids, the fantastic charity that I ran my New York City Marathon for uh, in the past. So, let's go. <laughs> I'm so glad to meet you. Glad to meet you as well. Just to hang out with you. Are you ready to go for a run? Yes, let's go. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know how you do this. I I'll know. Like <laughs> Especially when it, there are people taller than me and there everybody's taller than me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Your team for kids shirt. There you go. I ran my first New York City marathon for them. There you go. And I loved that they were doing work that impacted kids in South Africa. Right, exactly. In Cape Town. Since retiring from sport, I yeah. kind of lost the lost my way. Um, had to have like a meaningful impact. Yeah. Through charities and stuff like that, and I also wanted to run my first marathon in New York, <laughs> uh, and I ran for team for kids. And uh, since then, it's been an amazing experience because you know, living in a city like New York. With such diversity, uh, you know, the city that never sleeps, yeah. city where dreams are made of. There's apparent despair as well yeah. in the surrounding suburbs, and to be able to support these kids' uh, journey on, you know, health and wellness yeah. through the programs has uh, been incredible for me. Running's really enlightened me in that uh, sense as well. It's so exciting to see them put the stands up. There's nothing quite like it. <laughs> Running along the streets in New York with so many of the avid runners out there and yeah. knowing all the hard work that they've put in and everyone's out there crushing their dreams of finishing a marathon. There's nothing like the New York City Marathon. Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It takes you to a, another place and I think that's what running has served for me. Uh, yeah. You know, especially on the mental kind of aspect. Yeah. But, of course, physical as well, but since retiring from rugby, uh, you know, uh, addressing the mental issues that pop up and the health and wellness definitely plays a role in that. Yeah. And uh, I actually suffered too many concussions when I played, so. I was gonna ask uh, you if how that kind of impacted you. Yeah, so I, I take medication every day for uh, too many concussions. Uh, yeah. And will, probably will do for the rest of my life. But running kind of gives me that purpose and um, a drive, I guess, to to succeed uh, in, in running, you know, so we're going to get a bit dark here. <laughs> Being a part of the running community, which is so diverse and so inclusive, yeah. you know, running the, the bridal path in New York, yeah. uh, well, on the streets in New York even, you see people from all different uh, cultures, body shapes, age groups, and that's what truly inspired me because I think, you know, running was always kind of a, a byproduct or a, a function of my sport yes. for so many years, and now I see it so differently. Um, and to inspire others, especially children, to be uh, healthy and active uh, is really, you know, my goal now through running. And then, you know, I have the little goals. I'm never going to win a marathon, let's be fair. But well. I have the little goals to, 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 you know, to beat my last marathon per time. Um, to, to the little competitions with myself now uh, is what it's about for me and helping the kids. You played rugby for a number of different leagues in yeah. Australia. Yeah. So, have you always been a runner? I was actually a sprinter when I was in school. Got it! Uh, it was always a goal to, to, to do a marathon. Yeah. But now, the, as the years go on, the more and more marathons you do, you get a little bit more competitive with yourself. As I think. <laughs> so, okay, this year, it's, uh, the preparation's been good. Yeah, so, so you're third, PR. third New York third City. New York, yeah. Being a sprinter, um, the distance was never really, it was quite kind of daunting, I yeah. guess, you know? But also, being a former athlete, you kind of had this, uh, you're honest about yourself you're like yeah. i was an athlete i can do the marathon <laughs> oh, but yeah. it is brutal right it is brutal it, it'll teach and you and humble exactly, you <laughs> exactly and that's what really uh inspired me is that you can have men women uh teenagers yeah. people of all ages beating you uh <laughs> past the finish line all those struts it's one <laughs> it's two to every one for me you know <laughs> yeah i mean my leg i think i'm managing <laughs> Did you do kilometers or miles? 
I actually live miles now because oh, all yeah. of my running buddies are uh, all, miles. all American. So, <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, I, I don't mind either way. Yeah. The way I look at it. Yeah. Because there's uh, there's less mi miles by numbers in the marathon, so <laughs> you count a lot less, right? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Done. There's people literally out here you see every day, yeah. and even if they're just shuffling, you know, yeah. there's one guy I know. He's like 80 years old. And he's out here shuffling, and it's incredible, you know. <laughs> We've seen it in so many bad times, I guess, the spirit yeah. of the city uh, of New York. But really, the running community has that spirit every <laughs> single day. And you're running through New York, and people are like, hey, Nick, hey, how you go, you know. So anyone can be, you know, you got people out here that are billionaires. And yeah. You wouldn't even know if you're running with the, you know, next to them. <laughs> you're chatting, and no one cares. Yeah. Everyone kind of leaves that, leaves that away and uh, lets that go. And I think that. that is what running and and health in general uh, and training is for a lot of people, right? So, uh, which is cool. Super, super cool. What do you think running has taught you about Nick Youngquist? Definitely the great surname, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> You're always young and always Thanks, on a quest. Thanks, mum and dad. <laughs> for me, it's taught me how to kind of translate the lessons and uh, the skills that I learned in rugby into everyday life, not only with just running. I think that a lot of athletes can lose sight of and kind of question themselves and mm -hmm. come into kind of a negative kind of mindset when they retire because it feels like it all finishes. Yeah. But it's really helped me uh, reactivate those skills and the resilience and the competitive nature. And also, you know, the big thing is advocating for what I believe in and yeah. using my platform, um, you know, not that I'm the best in social media or <laughs> anyone, I don't think, Maybe I missed the boat. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to use it now to obviously support two for kids and support multiple uh, charities and organizations around the world. And yeah. um, obviously working with Packer Obama as well. We've done a number of races around the world and raised a lot of money for charity. So it's been a, it's really been a pleasure for me to, you know, re reinvigorate myself um, in the athletic world, I guess. Yeah. And also in the not-for-profit charity space as well. You've always been using your platform to speak out about things you right. believe in. Sometimes too, too, a little bit too much, but getting in trouble sometimes. Is that one? Is that the, the bre cancer, breast cancer um, <laughs> the calendar? <laughs> you can go and Google that on your own. <laughs> that uh, picture. <laughs> you, know, you know, albeit sometimes very small, yeah. we can have a positive influence on, and maybe give someone a different point of view on some Amen. on something that they might not have seen you know i think yeah, especially in the world these days where in some places going backwards in some some of the seams you know um so yeah. try and use those platforms so the better in the best way possible have the most positive impact you know so right. it's uh and running definitely does that too you know yeah. by encouraging others i i love finishing a race and, and turning around just high-fiving people when they're coming in you know it's like <laughs> it, and you know, people write to you on social media or write to me and say thanks so much for congratulating and like such a small thing that can make a big difference for someone. <laughs> there, we there we go, baby. There we go. Get ready for 65. There we go. Get it, get it, buddy. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. That's also another reason to love New York. <laughs> exactly. Cheerleaders everywhere. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs>